This video demonstrates how to make a wrist cock-up splint. First we begin with the pattern, marking the distal palmar crease on the ulnar and radial side of the hand. Next we'll mark the CMC joint and the tip of the thumb. To complete the pattern, connect the line from the distal palmar crease downward two-thirds the length of the forearm. Angle your pen slightly outward to create enough depth for the forearm. Also mark the web space of the thumb. Lastly, connect the dots, creating your finished pattern. Before cutting the material out, be sure to check the fit of your pattern on your patient. Here we want to make sure that we're two-thirds the length of the forearm, that we have the thenar eminence cleared, and the distal palmar crease cleared. Next, we'll trace the pattern onto our material using a splint marker. Once your material is cut out and warmed up, you want to be sure you're working on the right hand. So check the fit on your own body and then roll out the thumb area and the distal palmar crease prior to molding onto the patient. This will enable greater ease with contouring onto your patient. Place your patient in a palm up position for molding. Drape the material over their arm. Start distally and work proximally using long sweeping strokes. Use this time to make sure the distal palmar crease and the thenar eminence are completely clear. Applying the Velcro straps while the material is still slightly warm will help activate the adhesive. One strap is needed at the wrist crease, one proximal to the wrist crease, and the last at the hand on the dorsal aspect behind the distal palmar crease. Rounding the edge of your straps creates a nice aesthetic finish. Once the straps are fastened, a finger should be able to slip in between the strap and the patient's skin. Checking one last time for the distal palmar crease, thenar eminence, and two-thirds the length of the forearm.